Hello friends, welcome. Friends, in this video, which I posted uh, just, uh, I think, when, when did I post? Yeah, I posted this video one day back, uh, ago. So the title of the video is Why 700 Megahertz Became India's Lost Opportunity, Truth About, Truth about 5G Spectrum Pricing and Blunder. Now, uh, there have been a lot of response <laughs> in this video uh, of viewers' questions. So one of the viewer has asked a very interesting question. And that I found that it requires a full video to explain. And I'll make it very short. This question is, and it's, this will be very interesting. Parakkar, I have a question. Why not Airtel deploy 5G SA BTS for internet for and for calling 4G? Though they, do, they don't have lower frequency band just like Geo, but Geo also does not give 5G VONR, correct? But uh, till now, though they have 700 megahertz, 10 megahertz, but if Airtel will deploy 5G in SA network, the quality will be far better in my opinion rather than NSA in 3.5 3.5 gigahertz band because my phone support blah 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 so so I, I responded to this question by saying that i will do a video to explain now so friends uh, this is pretty interesting question and you will understand why airtel cannot deploy sa and if they did what kind of implications it, it will have on user experience so the viewer question is why airtel cannot deploy 5g sa for internet to and keep voice on 4g Right, Geo doesn't have UNR yet, but runs SA on 700 megahertz. Wouldn't Airtel SA improve the quality uh, compared to NSA in 3.5 megahertz spectrum? Right. So let's understand first the key difference, and I'm going to take you through a, uh, a diagram which is kind of going to, going to be an indicative of Airtel's and Geo network. And using that diagram, I'm going to explain to you why Airtel cannot deploy SA. The key difference uh, between Airtel's and Geo Spectrum is Geo actually owns a carpet-to-carpet -carpet 5G network compared to their 4G network because of the 700 megahertz. It's a carpet-to-carpet. -carpet. Let's understand the full coverage of 4G, uh, the 5G coverage overlaps on 4G as much as possible, right? It is not going to be the full network may not be uh, overlapping, but the critical area where they want their 5G customer to be satisfied, there is an overlapping network, right? So this is the, uh, the Geo's uh, 5G and uh, 4G network. Airtel does not have low frequency band. It relies, relies on 3.5 and maybe it will rely on to 2100 megahertz band. But they have deployed a lot of 4G in 900 megahertz spectrum, 1800 megahertz spectrum. So it's clear that Airtel does not have a carpet to carpet 4G and 5G network means its 5G coverage or the base station size is going to be lower compared to the 4G base station sites because their number of BTS density cannot go disproportionately high to able to cater for the BTS density for 5G. So, or the for the carpet to carpet coverage for 5G. So what, what they have done, they actually have created a 5G overlay on top of their 4G network and using 5G for capacity en enhancement only. So Airtel cannot deploy, provide a carpet to carpet 5G network because of 3.5 gigahertz band does not have coverage. Right. So let's first understand using the diagram first and then I'm going to come out, come to the to the, uh, the rest of the slide. So this is a indicative of geo network. So we have got 4G here. So 4G is 800 megahertz, 1800 megahertz, 2300 megahertz, but it's more or less carp, you know, all the frequency bands are overlaying on top of each other. So the coverage is, is kind of a carpet to carpet as far as 4G is concerned. Now 5G is overlaid on top of 4G. Now here there are two bands. One is 3500, their coverage is this much and the 700 coverage is, is full overlaying on top 4G. Whereas in case of Airtel, you have got 900 or 1800 year 4G and 5G 3500, which does not have a full carpet to carpet coverage on 4G. So what happens friends? And I'm going to give you the scenario. Uh, first, we'll talk about that in case of Geo, these two networks are totally independent as regards data is concerned. So from a data point of view, what happens is, that this 5G will have a separate core. So this core sits here 
and 4G will have a separate core. So the data from a core point of view will flow through two different cores. Whereas if for Airtel, since this is a non-standalone network, the core is common. So the 5G layer is only acting as if that it is a capacity enhancement or a data enhancement. That's all. It does not do anything more because the core is, the 4G core is common here. Now, friends, what happens is that if there is a voice call, because Geo does not support uh, VONR, right? Right. So if there is a voice call, then what will happen if a Geo's 5G subscriber currently ho is on on 5G network, means it is having a live session on 5G network. So what will happen? It is going to switch to 4G. The whole 5G session is going to break and it's going to go to 4G to attend the voice call. And during that time, the whole session, both voice and data session is going to be on 4G, right? And as soon as the voice call finishes, the whole thing is going to go back to 5G. Whereas in case of Airtel, because it does not support a standalone network and here the 4G is acting as an anchor and both these networks are attached to each other. So the whether it is voice, uh, when, whether uh, the user is um, uh, using voice or not, when, when a voice call comes, it is going to be using the 4G network and the 5G network is going to be stop providing service to the user. And for both data as well as for, for voice, the user is going to get latched on to 4G. And at that, that time, 5G network is just going to be sitting on top of the 4G is not going to give you any kind of benefit. You will not see any uh, you know, use of that 5G network when the voice call is active, similar to what Geo is there uh, because Geo does not use uh, VONR. Now, friends, what happens is that if Airtel was to give SA network, let's look at the scenario. Now, what would have happened? An SA user, because these two networks now would have become totally independent and there will be two different cores, right? So the user is going to latch on to 5G network, right? Now, he is using the 5G session then what happens that he's here, let's say this is the base station and he is here and he is using moving, moving, moving. Suddenly he comes to the edge of the network and there are no 4G anchor carrier. His session, 5G session is going to drop and this is going to be a hard drop, droppage. It is going to be a hard handoff and suddenly it is going to fall to 4G and the user experience is going to be pretty bad because this network does not extend up to the 4G to have a carpet to carpet coverage. So the user experience of our data is going to be so bad that user is going to find the 5G network completely useless because this 3500 megahertz spectrum band, which uh, Geo, which Airtel is using doesn't have a very good coverage. So there will be a lot of, uh, you know, regions where there, there will be, the call is going to be, the data call sessions are going to be fall. And when the data session falls, as soon as the data session falls, you are getting, let's say, 100 Mbps or 200 Mbps speed. Suddenly, you get 3 Mbps speed. So, user is going to get fed up. Whereas, in case of Geo, because this network and this network are two independent networks. So, if a user is traveling from the middle of the base station to the edge of the network, there will be definitely the, the data speeds are going to get reduced. But there will be no hard handoff between 5G and 4G. It is going to be a smooth handoff. But when voice call comes, the session, the 5G session is going to immediately get disconnected and it is going to go, the whole thing is going to get, uh, you know, transferred to 4G. And as soon as the voice call gets over, the whole thing is going to go back. And since this is the carpet to carpet, this whole thing is carpet to carpet. And therefore, this transition from this layer to this layer is pretty smooth. Whereas in case of Airtel, because this is a non-standalone network, this 4G layer is anchored on top of 5G. 5G layer is anchored on top of 4G and therefore these two layers are seen as an integrated layer. So there will be definitely, so when, when uh, let's say if, you, if a user is traveling from this part of the network and is, is reaching the 5G base station edge, the network is going to understand it and it is going to do an handoff to 4G in a smooth manner. So there will be loss of, of, of speed but that loss of speed is not going to, uh, you know, be perceived as a user as a sudden drop. There will be a gradual drop and user, user experience is going to be much better because 4G is the anchor carrier. This is only incremental. 
So ultimately, you are latched onto the 4G core ca- core anchor carrier, and 5G is just helping you to speed up the data. That's all. And all voice calls are going to be served by the 4G layer. So that is the summary of this discussion. So if you look at the slide that I have created, I have wrote. So what happens if Airtel user use SA on 5G? So you can just pause the video and look at it. There will be coverage gaps. Hard handoff between SA 5G and 4G. User experience is going to break for data latency session drop. Application needing low latency as slicing will fail, right? And then why NSA is better for it today? Because NSA is equal to 4G anchor always active. Smooth fallback to when 5G coverage fades. No session drop. Better continuity for voice and data on patchy coverage, right? Why Jio chooses SA? Because 700 megahertz ensure SA coverage layer across India. It's a carpet to carpet. Supports FWA and future 5G only use cases slicing. Though Airtel also does SA on FWA where there is no issue because FWA is point to point, right? The user is always on. So once you do, so the purpose of doing SA in FWA is to give you all those SLAs, right? Otherwise, they, you can't give. UE level slicing you cannot do, right? So, uh, it is better for continuity even when the midman fades. So bottom line is both Geo and Airtel uses 4G for VoLT for voice. VONR is not ready yet. Airtel cannot deploy SA effectively without low band 5G spectrum. Now you understand why Airtel cannot deploy SA because the user experience will be so bad that people will will kind of ditch their 5G network. It'll, they will always be on 4G. NSA ensures stability for Airtel's current spectrum portfolio. So this is the net net of this uh, answer to this question. I hope, uh, you know, the viewer is satisfied with my answer and I made this a very short video so that people can understand the difference between SA and NSA, why Airtel cannot deploy SA and if uh, Airtel deploys SA, then the 5G experience is going to be pretty bad. Thank you, friends, for your time. I hope that you like this video and I'll come back with a new video and a new topic next time. Thank you very much for watching till the end.